Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Khalil from Cheese's World Kennels, and I wanted to make a quick video segment about introducing your puppies into your pack, um, especially a pack that's with two different breeds than that puppy. Um, as you can see, my Rottweiler Anubis is playing with my Connie Corso Kovu. Um, so first and foremost, you gotta identify, when you get the puppy and you bring them in your household, you have to identify the problems and then start making corrections as soon as possible. And what I mean by that is not the problems that your puppy's gonna have as in, you know, not being house trained or stuff of that nature. Um, what I really mean is the acceptance from other dogs. And as you can see, Anubis, he just turned eight months. So he's fairly still a puppy. Um, Kovu is only eight weeks. Now, they have been getting along better than I thought they would because, you know, Anubis is the baby or was the baby. Um, you know, always got babied by um, Brie and things of that nature. Um, he was getting, he gets baby by me. That's Dusty. He's the great Pyrenees mixer of the German Shepherd. Um, he's looking at me. You guys can't see, but he's side eyeing me. He's mad right now. Um, Kovu, stop looking at him. So, Dusty, we actually ran into an unforeseen problem. Well, not unforeseen, but unexpected. As you can see, he doesn't like Kovu. So this has been not an issue, but it's been not a, not even a concern, but it's definitely something that I have to take in prospect. So with Kovu, I have to teach him boundaries. One thing I don't want to do is split them up to let Dusty know he doesn't run anything. So Dusty has growled at him. He hasn't snapped at him, he hasn't done anything, but he has growled. Um, anytime that happens, I quickly put him in a submissive posture. Whenever he gives attitude because Kovu is touching him or anything like that, I put him in submissive posture. And usually he gets down there on his own without being told, yeah, you are a pretty boy, but you know, I just can't have that. They're gonna be three brothers when they get older. Yes, I do have a plan to where, you know, when those, um, when those hormones start coming out, I need to get them situated. I don't want to separate them. These two are actually really close. And it's funny because he has no problem with Anubis. Anubis can jump on him, can bite on him, can do everything he wants. But as soon as he gets touched or anywhere near Kovu, let's see if he'll do it right now once he realizes. See? And then he'll go into a playful posture just so he doesn't get in trouble by me. And then see what he does? He'll go over there. So these are attitudes that I don't want. This is a habit that I do not want because when Kovu gets older, he is a Connie Corso. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. He's not gonna play that shit with Dusty. Neither is Anubis. So that's why it'll make my it'll make my living situation easier. It will make Bree's living situation easier. It will make their living situation easier if they all get along. Now, of course, I know dogs are dogs. They have a if you get a group of them, they have a pack mentality. See him trying to dominate. Look at him trying to hump. See, Anubis is a puppy, but Anubis just started humping Dusty. And Dusty lets him sometimes, but then Dusty, when he's tired of it, he puts him down. And if Anubis doesn't like that, Anubis is going to snap at him. And Anubis will look at me to stop him from doing whatever he's doing. And I usually do, buddy, and I stop. Sometimes I don't, and I let them do the correction themselves. Nothing's wrong with a little hard correction from them. I know for sure Dusty doesn't let him hump him. Dustin doesn't allow that. Out of the three, Dusty is the pack leader. He has most of the say-so, but he's really relaxed. He's really nonchalant, mellow. See, look at this. He's gonna try to hump him. And now he's trying to play. But overall, coming in, as I was saying, you wanna make these corrections. You want to fix anything. Right now I'm teaching him boundaries. 
a lot of people are concerned about potty training. Look, guys, potty training will come. Give him a month to really get acclimated to the living situation, the routines, and he will be easy to, you know, go to the bathroom. He'll go when the, all the other dogs go. The time he'll notice, like he did today, this morning, when you wake up, you go outside. You don't eat, you don't do none of that. You go outside, you go to the bathroom. Then you eat, then you go back outside to go to the bathroom, then you come back inside, and then you can chill. That has been his routine since he got here on Sunday, and he's just starting to catch on. He had one accident from four accidents yesterday in the house to one accident today in the house, which I'm really proud of. But you have to be consistent. This ain't a one-time thing, guys. You have to be consistent. Now, my thing is when you have multiple dogs in the house and the fact that they're all male. See, look at this. No. And then he'll try to do it again. No. And then... No. So, Dusty, Dusty and Anubis have been yelled at already about being gentle. Have been yelled at already about being mean. But now he's getting acclimated. He's starting to play with them more. They're starting to receive him more. I let them go ahead and do their own thing. I even let him go outside with them and stay out with them. Now, most of the time, Dusty just doesn't want to be bothered by Anubis or by Kovu. And I can't do nothing about that. Um, if he doesn't want to get bothered, he doesn't want to get bothered. He has the right to have his personal space when it comes to them. Now, for me, if I say, no, Kovu's not in the wrong, get over it. Damn right. He's going to get over it and he's going to be in the wrong. He's going to do what I say and he's going to do it. That's the rules in the house. I'm I'm the king in the house. I'm alpha. I'm all supreme. He knows that. That's why he'd rather just be in his corner, not getting messed with. Now, the reason I'm not big, the reason I'm not really concerned about the humping thing, they're all males. They're going to do that. I'll get concerned once it gets older and stuff like that. He, he was humping his siblings. His siblings were humping him. Look at Anubis. I also want to tell you guys, Anubis has a really nice coat, a really nice, nice stature. Anubis is a nice looking dog. Look at that. He is a nice looking boy. Kovu's a little chunky. Yes, I know. Um, Dusty's a really nice looking dog too. He's back there hiding because he don't want to deal with him. But, like I said, the potty training, guys, please, please don't worry about it. Do not worry about any of that. Because it will come. It will come to you guys. The potty training will come. What you, if you have multiple dogs, like I said, what you need to be worried about is getting these dogs acclimated to having a puppy in the house. Because you don't want one day for one of the dogs to just be like, you know what? I'm not dealing with it. I'm going to correct this myself or I'm going to deal with this my way. And usually their way is not the okay way. And then you have a problem. So I dealt with him. I corrected him a ton. He has high energy, so much energy. He is a high energy dog. That's why he's getting into training. He's going to learn, back up, back up. He's going to learn a bunch of stuff. He's going he's gonna to be good. He's going to be good. He's going to get into a lot of stuff. So he's, uh, he's high energy. All right, go sit down. Go. Go. And then there's that one. Go. But that's why he's getting A. And that's a correction too. You see how he tries to pull away? No. Don't be scared. These are big dogs. Don't be scared to grab them real good. See, he tries to think. He thinks we're playing. That's what I mean by high energy. But, um... So he'll quit after a while. But I corrected him a bunch. You have to tell him to be gentle. They, believe me, they understand. Tell him to do a bunch of all that stuff. 
but with him, his problem, he just doesn't want to be messed with. And he thinks he runs it and he, he has control. And yes, I know out of these three, he is the alpha, but he ha he knows out of these three, I am the alpha out of them. So what I say goes. So Dusty has his attitudes. Look, I'm doing that great Pyrenees Paul thing. Go sit down. But yeah, I just want to make that video real, real quick for you guys. Um, sorry if I went over a couple things. Like I already said, I got distracted a little bit. But sorry if I went over. I just want you guys to know that um, make sure you alchemate, um your previous dogs, your dogs that you already have to your new puppy. It doesn't matter what it is, especially when you have dominant breeds. Dusty is mixed with a uh, Great Pyrenees and a German Shepherd. Those are dominant breeds. Those dogs are very, those dogs are dominant. And then I got a Rottweiler. He's another dominant breed. And then I got a Connie Corso, which is a dominant breed from birth. So I just want, you just gotta make sure that what you're doing, you, you're smart about. So it's basically just corrections, a lot of corrections. Don't try to yell, no matter how frustrating it gets, don't yell, don't try to. Um. And like I said, guys, just mainly just give all three love. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys, this is what I'm dealing with. When it's chill time like this, this is what happens. He tries to be a lap dog. But you see how he's just looking at him like that? Yeah, that's, this is what I have to deal with, guys. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. It's been a cool little quick talk session. All right. Uh, Keep up with the updates. Say bye, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's Kalo from Keys World Kennels. Today, we're giving Kovu his um, dewormer. So usually for our other two dogs, we put the dewormer in their food, such as this. We'll get it from Walmart, and that's what we'll use. So for this one, we're gonna give him, from the syringe, we're giving him half of the syringe for today and then the other half for tomorrow. Now remember, when you have a syringe like this, you always wanna keep it uh, refrigerated. When you have anything like this, keep it refrigerated or it'll go bad. So Bree is, so what you wanna do, you wanna pop his, his mouth open, his jaws open, and then you want to slowly Give it to him, let him swallow it all. Actually, I think she just gave it all to him in one thing. No, it's half. Yeah, so she gave the half to him in one thing. He's a little gritty boy, so some dogs are able to do that where they'll just take it. Some dogs act like they'll choke and be dramatic about it. So don't worry about that. We're also gonna show you guys our practicing stacking because you know all of us haven't been stacking since day one. So we're gonna practice. Also, he gets his ears um, cropped on Saturday. So you guys will be, will be making videos on how to um, take care of that. So she's gonna practice stacking. And this is new for both of us. So don't judge us a little that bad. You wanna do it first? So he likes to go in submissive posture for everything. That's to expect. So from what the breeder has been teaching us, he said, once you control the head, don't be um, scared to be a little aggressive with the head. But once you control the head, um, the body will follow. Oh. <laughs> like I said, he likes to go in submissive posture for everything. So what Bree is going to do is stand him up, hold him by his tail, stand him up. Control that head, and boom. Once he gets ah. stable, hey, you see he's fighting back. He'll stop fighting once in a while. Don't worry if they cry or whine. So once he gets stable, that's when we can start moving his legs. So as you can see, that's as far as he's letting this go right now. And then if I go over and start moving his legs back, mm -hmm. he'll fall over. Um, so we just want to show him that, you know, get him used to it basically. Right now, he's not used to being stacked or being handled in any such way. 
Um, the breeder didn't stack them. His dogs know how to be stacked, the mom and dad. Oh, that's good. You just need to throw his back legs back more. The toes should be in line with the back of the butt. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, he's not going to let you do that. Um, and then these should be right under his shoulder, just as such. So as you can see, that's a pretty good stack. That's not that bad for him not letting us do anything. But as you can see, you got you want to take control of that head and just like that. But as you can see, he's a little chunky boy. We just wanted to um, show you guys how um, how to stack and give his dewormer. That's all. So you guys have a good day. Um, and say goodbye, Kobu.